Hey you guys, so today I figured I would sit down and do a get ready with me. I haven't done one in a while. I am not feeling super great. I caught a summer cold. Of course, my kids start school and I catch cold immediately. So um, I've had a fever for the past few days, coughing, sneezing, all that fun stuff. But I have stuff that I need to do tonight and I usually feel better and just more confident in general if I have makeup on when I feel like crap. So I'm going to get started with my eyebrows and like always I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in taupe. This is kind of my go-to. Actually, I'm really frustrated. I've been wanting to use my Urban Decay Brow Blade and I lost it. I don't know if it disappeared at the hotel in Chicago back in May and I just didn't notice because I usually carry like two or three brow products with me or if it is lost somewhere in my makeup even though I searched everything. I have no idea. All right, eyebrows are done. Next, I'm actually moving on to my eyes because I'm doing some slightly more complicated eyes today just because it was the cutest freaking thing. My husband texted me this morning after he went off to work and was like, I just heard on the radio that Starbucks has the pumpkin spice lattes in. So my brain was like, oh, it's officially fall. That That's what I go by now. It's not Bath and Body Works because seriously, they had fall candles out like in July. I go by pumpkin spice latte. So in my opinion, it's officially fall. Even though I don't drink that many pumpkin spice lattes during the season, just cause they're too, too sweet. I have to kind of have them adjust to mine. And I always add extra coffee just cause they're super sweet. But anyway, the weather is like perfect for fall. It is gross and gray and rainy. Oh wait. No, I'm sorry, the weather is perfect for fall in Ohio. We have like maybe five days in fall. There that crisp, clear blue sky and the pretty leaves and the beautiful weather. And it's like in the mid 50s, low 60s. We get like five of those, maybe. So today I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is a really, really cute palette for fall. I know this one definitely had mixed reviews. Some people loved it, some people hated it. I actually really like this one. I found that the key to using this palette is to add other things into it, be it glitters, cream eyeshadows, things like that, because otherwise the shades are very, very similar and definitely can start to blend together a good bit. So I'm going to start by taking a Morphe M506 and I'm going into the shade Sauced right here. I'm just going to start working that above my crease. Look, I've got a little blood dot there. That's really cute because I just shaved my eyebrows. My eyebrow hair is naturally really, really light. I get all those like fine baby hairs that you can't necessarily pluck unless you spend like eight hours. So I shave them. All right, and I'm dipping that brush into Chaser just a little bit. And I'm gonna start blending out that edge. Going to just take that same brush and wipe it off real quick. And I'm going into Ounce. I'm just going to sweep that underneath my brows. Ounce is shimmery, so if you don't like shimmery brow highlight, don't do this. But I find that if I don't have some sort of powder underneath my brows, my mascara will transfer onto my brows throughout the day, like the under, under brow area. All right, now I'm going to take that same brush and we're gonna go into He Devil. And I just want to deepen up that crease. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is pretty well blended. Same brush again, I know. I'm going into Un Fuego. I'm going to pat this 
on the outer corner. and the inner corner. Now this is really, really dark for the inner corner. So if you're going for more of an everyday look with this, you may want to use something slightly lighter, like you can take Heat Devil and put that in the inner corner and you'll still get that halo effect without it being like too, too dark. For the serum my eye, I'm actually grabbing one of my very favorite ColourPop Super Shock shadows. To be honest, this is the only ColourPop Super Shock shadow I have, so by default, it's my favorite. This one is gorgeous. It's DGAF. I love this one. So I'm just going to take this on my ring finger and just pat this right in the middle. For liner today, I'm going in with my Clinique Pretty Easy Black Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I think it's fantastic. You can tell I don't feel good when my eyeliner gets ridiculously thick because I keep screwing it up. But um, I am putting on false lashes with this look, so I'm not even going to worry about it that much. All right, we're going to move on to my skin while this eyeliner is drying. I'm starting out by using the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. Well, that's a name. I just take about a pea-sized amount of this. I've actually been trying this out lately and I kind of like it. Typically, I don't go with mattifying primers, but I found that with the Luminous Foundation, if I want it to stick well on my skin when it is hot and humid out, this is one of the best types of primers to put underneath it. As you can see, I'm like freaking breaking out like crazy. This is insane, like my chin's breaking out. I started a new skincare routine about two weeks ago. I don't think it's a skincare routine though because my skin is improving and then it went downhill. My skin went downhill at the exact same time that we got really busy and I started eating out like four times a week and drinking Dr. Pepper's and energy drinks again just to stay conscious. So I think it's the crappy eating. So I'm going to keep my skincare routine the same and clean up my diet and start cooking at home again and um, see if it improves. That way I can tell whether it's the skincare or the diet. All right, so for foundation, I'm using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in the shade 200W. I've been applying this with a brush lately, but today I'm going in with my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, which is poor thing, desperately needs replaced. It's like she has had a hard life. And I have kept her around way longer than she was intended to be kept around. And I'm going in pretty heavy with foundation today, just because typically the more dramatic that I look, the heavier foundation I go. And also, I have a lot of stuff to cover up today. For concealer, I'm grabbing my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 12. So to set that, I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to grab this little sponge I've been messing around with. This is Real Techniques. It's a new powder sponge and it's furry. See, it's furry. It's got like microfiber on it. I've tried it for foundation. It works okay for foundation. It definitely gives you a very heavy coverage. I've been um, using it damp and trying it with foundation and it's so-so, eh, but I haven't used it for its actual intended purpose yet, which is powder. I'm just setting underneath my eyes. 
And typically I haven't been setting underneath my eyes lately, but when I'm sick, you kind of have to bust out some tricks you typically don't use just to make sure that everything stays in place. And I'm also grabbing a bit more powder. and setting around my nose as well, because I'm going to be blowing my nose today. A lot, obviously. And then the rest of the foundation, I'm just going to let it do its thing and self set. All right, for bronzer today, I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and my little e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I love using for bronzer. This brush is just so, so good. Oh, and by the way, this bronzer lasts forever. I've been using this bronzer like every single day and I still haven't worn the words off. Like that's amazing. It however is making me want chocolate desperately right now. And for blush, I'm using Tarte's Party, which has been my go-to blush for day to day lately, just because it's a nice soft pinky peach. It's one of those blushes that you almost can't put on too much. Like you would have to apply this like eight times to put on too much. And highlight. Let's go for a slightly more golden highlight today. I'm going with the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Now that my face face is done, I am going to curl my eyelashes just lightly, not quite as much as I normally do since I am wearing false lashes today, which I haven't been doing like it all lately, but I thought, you know what, today is a day where I need an extra boost, so we're going with the false lashes. So I'm going to wear a pair of Ardell lashes, I believe, these are the Faux Mink Lashes. They're in the Faux Mink box, but you never know with me whether I put them back in the right box or not. I have worn these once or twice before. These are so nice. They're really, really full. Something I love, and I'm using the Duo Brush On Lash Adhesive. This is probably my favorite lash adhesive just because it's really easy to use and I don't tend to drop it anywhere. By the way, I am so not a master at applying false lashes. This is not my uh, area of expertise at all, thus the thick black liner to hide the mistakes. You forget when you haven't worn these for a while just how dramatic they are. All right, one on, let's do the other one. One of my friends actually got lash extensions and she loves them. And I was, I've been debating getting lash extensions, but I know that they're a lot of maintenance and you have to be careful and you can't rub your eyes and you really aren't supposed to wear mascara, which let's be honest, would probably drive me crazy because I wear mascara constantly. That is the one makeup item that is like guaranteed to go on my face almost every single day. Even if I wear nothing else, just because my lashes are so blonde that I tend to look a bit like Rufus the Naked Mole Rat from Kim Possible. If I don't wear mascara, that glue is good to go. And I have tried repeatedly doing lashes with tweezers. I have no luck. I am more likely to stab myself in the eye, get the tweezers stuck in the glue, etc. I do so much better with just using my hands. Like, if you're good at using tweezers to put on your lashes, please tell me your secret, because I, I just can't seem to figure it out. Lash clothes dry. Does anyone else have the issue where it looks like your inner corner lash is like poking straight out? It's like, I don't get why it does that. So I'm gonna have to make that look less weird. I always have to go in and adjust my eyeliner after I do my lashes. I don't know, it's just, lashes are not my forte, unfortunately. 
but I do love the way they look. So now I'm just grabbing my Revlon Volumizing Mascara. I know that there's a lot of girls who just put on false lashes and leave it at that, but you can see my blonde lashes in front of false lashes I use and it just looks really weird. So I still have to do mascara. And I do it after putting my lashes on, that way it kind of blends them into the lashes. Obviously your lashes won't last as long if you do this. They will get funky faster and you will get fewer uses out of them. However, I don't buy super expensive lashes, so I do not worry about it. If I was buying like, $30 a pair of lashes, uh, yeah, that wouldn't happen. Also, I like to use mascaras with standard bristle wands when I'm using false lashes instead of using um, ones with rubber bristles. One, I find that they blend my real lashes into the false lashes better. Two, I also find that rubber bristles will catch on the base of the lash and plait it, which can mean your lash won't last as long. It won't stay on as long. But as you saw, I just did this to kind of help push them up so they would stick more and everything is in place. These are a bit much for what I'm doing today, to be honest, but you know, if you're gonna be a little extra, the first day of fall is the perfect day for it. So today for my lips, I'm using my Kylie Jenner lip liner in the shade Candy K. And then I am topping that with the Kylie Matte Lipstick in the shade Candy K. I love this color for fall, and to be honest, I do not have time to be screwing around with glossy lips today because I'm going to be super busy and not have time to reapply. Oh, trick with this lipstick, the thinner layer you apply, the better it looks. I also tend to kind of push it into the liner, and then I'll take my finger and run it on the inner lip line. And that kind of smooths it out a bit and um, helps with that harsh line you get. Oh, and I have my hair up in like this little curly ponytail today just because my hair was a hot mess. I was almost out of dry shampoo this morning and I had no idea what to do with it. So I literally just curled it and threw it up in a ponytail and I'm like, oh, this looks cute. All right, anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys have fun today. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're super excited for fall, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you do, let me know what is your absolute favorite thing about fall, be it the makeup, the food, pumpkin, everything, the holidays, um, could you care less about fall? Let me know, I really wanna hear from you guys. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere, and all the links for those are down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.